Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Surrounds Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about resolving forces. So, how do we actually resolve a force? All it means is that we simply break down the force into two components. So right now I've got a force here of 10 newtons, this arrow. If I'm going to break it down into two components, I'm going to break it down into the X and Y component. How do I do that? You simply take a ruler, and from the horizontal, you try and drop a line across... There we go. That's one. Yeah, so I've got on the horizontal bit. Now, to do the vertical bit, you simply connect both lines together. So there we go. There we go. So I've now found the horizontal. This one is the horizontal component. Horizontal. And now this one is the vertical. Right, that's the horizontal and that's the vertical. Now, Let's talk about what is the magnitude of that force. What is the magnitude of the vertical component? Well, I can simply measure it and find out. So I can measure it right now. It's going to be, so my vertical component is right now, it is 1, 2, 3, 5.5 centimeters. So it's 5.5 centimeters. My horizontal component is going to be uh, 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. Right, so if it's 5.5 centimetres, what value is that? How many newtons is that? Because it's a force, I've got to find the value in terms of the force. 5.5 newtons, I need to look at the scale. My scale is stated on the left, right-hand side here. So, the scale says 1 centimetre is 1 newton. Therefore, 5.5 centimetres, this corresponds to 5.5 newtons. So always check the scale. So the vertical component of this force is 5.5 newtons. Right, what about the horizontal component? We can do the same thing. 8 centimetres represents how many newtons? It is going to represent 8 newtons. Wonderful. Good, so 8 newtons here. So we have now done, we've now broken down the force into two different components, the horizontal and the vertical component. Simply by dropping a line across, dropping a line upwards, and then using the scale to work out the value of the force. Easy stuff. Right, let's check out another example, which is a little bit difficult. Okay, let's look at this example. Let's say we're asked to resolve this force parallel and perpendicular to the plane. So once again, we're going to resolve this force parallel and perpendicular to the plane. So first of all, to resolve it parallel, I need to find the parallel component of this force. I can simply do that by dropping the line, so taking your ruler out, dropping the line actually let's do the perpendicular one first sorry let's do the perpendicular one first so take out a ruler and draw it perpendicular to the plane here here we go so i've dropped the line here perpendicular then i'm going to connect them both up for the component parallel to the plane there we go so now this part is the perpendicular component this one is the perpendicular and this one is the parallel. Can we see the reason why? Because that component here is parallel to this line here. So this bit is parallel to. We're parallel to this line. Okay, yeah, so that line is parallel to the line of the slope. All right, so um, let's work out the value of them. So if that's 8 newtons, um, let's check out my scale. So my scale right now, it is 4 cent. It's going to be 1 centimeter represents 2 newtons. Okay, so let's find the value of the perpendicular component. I'm going to take my ruler and measure it out. Right now it is 3.5 centimetres. This is 3.5 centimetres. Therefore, how many newtons is that? It's 3.5 times by 2. It's going to be 7 newtons. So therefore, it is 7 newtons. So the perpendicular component is 7 newtons. So I'm using my scale to work backwards. What about the parallel component? The parallel component. So take your ruler out again and measure the length of that. It is right now 2 centimetres. My parallel component is 2 centimetres. Using my scale once again, therefore it corresponds to 4 newtons. Happy with this? Yeah, so you make sure we understand how I've done that. I simply drop the line perpendicular and parallel and measure them using my ruler and I use the scale to work out the value of the newtons required. Easy stuff. Now let's have a summary. Summary. To resolve a force, we simply split a force into two components. 
We can calculate the size of the components by measuring the length of the force and by considering the scale of the diagram. So we measure the length of it and we look at the scale of the diagram. If we're resolving a force on a plane, we can find the components parallel and perpendicular to the force. And that's it guys, short and sweet. See you next time for more Sir Razzle Dazzle Physics. Goodbye.